Hey, how's it going? What's going on, fish family? Today we're outside. We're gonna do a little exercise walk. We're gonna get some squats in, get some jumping jacks in. It's exercise day for us. And I know you're thinking, what does this have to do with aquariums? Well, we live out here in the country. As we're out walking around, we're gonna be watching for sticks and rocks to put in the aquariums. So we're gonna take you all along on our little journey. And by our, I mean it's a me and my daughter's is gonna be out here walking with me today. It's summertime, so she's gotta get her exercise in. She doesn't have PE in the summer, so we gotta do it ourselves. Say something. I see what you did there. Deficient. Yeah. Looks like cedar. Big one right there. Looks like it may be oak. Kind of too big to be dragging all the way back to the house. I ain't trying to carry a whole tree for half a mile. It's kind of beautiful out today, kiddo, don't you think? Well, I mean, for this area of Texas, it's not hot right now when 80 degrees is a cool day. All right, so that was a great walk. Got a good sweat going. I think I burnt off maybe 10 calories. But aquarium wise, just wasn't that eventful. Didn't see any hardscape I just had to bring home this time. And I will say that every time we make this walk, I find something I didn't find the time before. So maybe next time we'll get lucky. I do have a few other aquariums to set up and uh, I hope to scape them for free because that's what this channel's about, doing everything as cheap as possible. Uh, it's not just what the channel's about, it's what I'm about. All right, I still got some exercise to do. Gotta knock out these push-ups and set-ups. That wasn't the workout. That wasn't the workout. That was the pre-warm-up to get you ready for the warm-up, to get you ready for the pre-workout, followed by the workout, which precedes the post-workout. Then we're going into a little 60-minute warm-down. I'm gonna get that done and then we'll get on to the rest of today's video. See you shortly. Okay, so in today's video, a few things I wanna talk about. First off, let's talk about what I did wrong. So three, four weeks ago, I did a video on the before and after of me trimming my aquarium plants back. I was overzealous. I clipped a lot of them back all at once because I was anxious to get them into this tank here behind me. It's not my recommendation and it was in no way a how-to video. I created a lot of work for myself by doing it that way. Uh, I'll overlay some video of the hair algae bloom that I had about four days after removing all those plants. You'll see there's a whole mass of what looks like troll doll hair floating around in the water. What happens is when you clip all your plants back at one time and remove them from the tank, there's no longer something to outcompete the algae for all the nutrition in the water column. So I should have taken my time and clipped a little bit back here or there from different parts of the tank at different times and allowed the plants to kind of grow back in and readjust as I was going. But again, I was overzealous because I didn't mind having the extra little bit of work. I also like the look of some of the algae I think it adds to a more organic feel to the tank. Plus with all the 
guppy fry in these tanks. It gives them a little microorganisms to munch on in between feedings. So here's the 15 gallon. You can see there are still a little bit of hair allergy floating on and attached to some of the plants. Don't know how well it's gonna show up in this video here. Uh, and you can see there's still a few guppies in here. Still got a couple adults I gotta catch and get out. And then a bunch of babies hiding all up in there. That I need to let grow a little bit before I get them out of here. Here's the 10 gallon. I think the hair algae is the worst in this one still. It's caught up in that java moss quite a bit. But I've gotten most of it out of everywhere else. And the 55 is looking good. That water's still real brown from all the tannins coming out of those logs. You can see there on the patches of java moss how I carried some of that hair algae over with them. I'll yank most of that stuff off when I do the cleaning on this tank this week. And most of it will be dealt with after that point. But I do have to be careful that it doesn't drown out the plants. This one here, I'm gonna when I clean this tank this week, I'll get all that off, like I said, because it's gonna drown out that java moss. Okay, so enough about what I did wrong. Let's talk about a few of the things I can do that's right. I've got a 29 gallon as well as a 20 gallon outside that I need to get cleaned up and set up. Uh, right now my plan is to get the Neon Tetras and the Beta out of the 10 and get them into the 20 and perhaps throw a couple of Corydoras in the bottom there. The 29 is probably going to be a starter tank for some angelfish. My daughter really wants them. So I think we're going to get the 55 gallon. I've got outside cleaned up and ready for that as well. Uh, well, I say it's a 55 gallon, it's labeled as a 55 gallon, but when you measure it, it's closer to 58 and a half. Uh, we're gonna get that set up as a nice display tank in the living room with angelfish uh, and a few other little things to throw in there. Uh, speaking of 55 gallons, I still have the 55 gallon restoration project to finish. Uh, we've got the stand restored. I'll get that video put up probably next week. We got to get the frames painted and that tank resealed, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with that one. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I know there really isn't not much to enjoy, it's just me ranting for about eight or nine minutes. As always, enjoy your aquariums. Don't forget to get out there and get fishy, and we'll see y'all next time.